Hey guys, it's Matt here. Welcome back. And today we're taking a look at the top 10 Android apps of July for 2019. If you do enjoy my videos, definitely do hit subscribe and turn on your notifications just so you can keep up to date with my channel. I really, really want to reach 50,000 subscribers by the end of the year. So definitely do help me out if you can. Um, but without further ado, enjoy the video. Okay, first up on the list is Top VPN. It's actually really good because it gives you a whole gigabyte free of usage. Most VPN apps only give you a small amount of data. And then in the app, you have a option of a bunch of different servers all across the world. And there's also an option for the best choice, which will give you the best speed. If you're curious about the prices, 12 months is $36, which actually only works out about $3 a month. And then one month subscription is $12. So realistically, it makes sense to go for the one year option. There's also a diagnosis mode in case it's a bit slow and you can also choose it to automatically connect. From my experience, I actually got a little bit faster speeds than without the VPN. So 52.6 down with the VPN and 48.6 without the VPN. So I thought that was a little bit strange. It does protect you, it adds a little bit more security when you're using the web and when you're searching things. And also it can actually break region locks so you're allowed to access content that maybe you're not necessarily allowed. The next one up is called Black Box. I've been trying so hard to find a call recording app that doesn't replace the actual phone app, just something that records in the background because they did kind of block it with the latest version of Android. Um, but basically this app gets around it somehow and it works pretty good. You have the option to play pause, you can scrub through the audio clip, share it, and you can also call back the caller within this app. There's a little bit of options, so you can add some tags and titles and things like that, and obviously you can go ahead and sort it and search through it and find the right calls. Up next is called Dope Walls. I do go through a lot of wallpaper apps and I like to mix it up. This one has a big variety of wallpapers. They're a really high quality. I really do like the addition of the tags at the bottom. It actually allows you to easily go into like similar categories of images to the one you're looking at. Um, so I really do like that. If I like an image, I tend to find another image I like. Um, so really, really good. They've got a huge variety of wallpapers for desktop and mobile devices. So definitely do go check it out. There's also a trending mode as well, and you can go ahead and sort it and all the things like that. But it's really easy to apply. You can also download the wallpapers and there's also a category section as well. So there's really everything in here. Go and check it out. Really, really sweet wallpapers. Next one up is Share the Meal. This basically allows you to send money to kids in Africa and all around the world who are poor and they necessarily can't afford to eat. And so you can go ahead and donate money through this app. You have your own profile and when jumping into it, it will show you how many kids you're feeding and how long you're gonna feed them for. Um, so there's a bunch of different prices and you simply select the one you want. You can also add a custom one if you want. And also you can use Google Pay. So it's really, really easy and straightforward to use. And really, it just helps someone out and, you know, it can even save a life. So why not download this app? It frequently updates with new charities. And there's also this sort of community section where you can share things you're doing and also make posts and things like that. And there's a lot of news on there. So if you're interested, go and download it. Up next is called Fulio. This one's super useful if you if you drive, if you're a taxi driver, a bus driver, or you drive a car, and you need to keep track of things. It allows you to put in your actual vehicle, uh, your miles per gallon, all that good stuff. And then you can actually go ahead and view a timeline of how much fuel you put in, how much you've used, and you can actually go ahead and view all the gas stations nearby. Super handy, and it also shows you the price when you click on it for your regular fuel, super fuel, as well as diesel. So that's really convenient. There's also some charge statistics. And my favorite page is actually the homepage because it actually shows me a small little widget there with all the gas stations locally. So I can go there. It also shows me the last fuel per liter price I paid. And also at the bottom, it also shows me the total price I paid as well. Something else useful is if you're going on a trip, there's a calculator. So you can type in a distance, your miles per gallon and the price of fuel, and it will tell you how much it's gonna cost to get somewhere, which is also really useful. The next step up is on notification. This is really handy. It basically brings back your notifications. You accidentally swipe away. And it has this little mode where you can actually whitelist things. So certain apps won't come up. Um, but basically if you get a notification, you swipe it, 
it's going to pop up with another notification and you can simply click on that and the old one will come back really really handy i'm only demoing it on the on like the text message app but it actually works on youtube notifications gmail pretty much any notification even your google play update ones absolutely everything up next is polychrome. This one's really cool if you have black and white images and you want to make them colored, but maybe you're not that good at Photoshop, maybe you don't have much time and you just want something quick. So you will need to actually watch an ad in order to gain credit, but once you've done that, you can go into the gallery section or take a picture and you can actually import a black and white photo. So pretty straightforward, you can crop it to the bit you want colored and it will scan through it and this is the result. So it doesn't do a perfect job but it just adds a little bit more color and I really do appreciate that it really can enhance an old looking photo. Next up is cast NES games so basically if you have a ROM you can download them in here and you can simply go and play it on a Chromecast so all you do is you click on the game you want to play I've obviously pre-installed this but you just download it and import them uh, you can choose between a classic gamepad or just the regular one and here it is in action so as you can see by full landscape controller on my phone it has haptic feedback and i can actually see the game on my screen and it actually isn't delayed too much the latency is really really good on this so definitely go check it out if you want to play some games this can actually be used in multiplayer it gives the option for it anyway so not too sure how that works um, but definitely check it out if you want to play some games on your chromecast um, and you want to be a little bit more nostalgic up next is if you need some motivational quotes this is a really good app if you just need to be pumped up about something, you're maybe a little bit down and you just want to be a little bit more motivated, then this is the app for you. There's loads of different helpful posts in here which can help push forwards and get over your problems and it also allows you to make your own custom ones. So why not go and subscribe down below and turn on notification bell. But yeah, you have the option to resize, you can change your background, text, color. There's also another section in here with other quotes and things like that. So if you want some funny quotes, you can also go ahead and search for that too. But yeah, it's really good. Last up on the list is Let Me Know or LED Me Know. And basically this app actually puts this ring around your cutout on your screen. If you have an, a Samsung Galaxy S10 or S10 Plus. Um, but even if you don't and you just don't have a notification light anymore or you want an extra notification light or a bigger or something like that, you can make your own shape and it will actually come on and light up whenever you get a notification. One of my favorite options is actually the charging option. So when you plug it in or have it wirelessly charging, when the screen is actually off, it will show these blinking LEDs to show that it's charging. That's super handy. You know how many times I've put it down and it's not been charging. And then down at the bottom here, we can turn on individual apps to display the notification LED around my camera cutout. And we can also choose the colors. Now that's it guys. I'm almost at 36,000 subscribers, so go and hit subscribe, go and help me out. Thank you for watching the video, guys, and peace out.